What's up guys, Import Tuna Challenge, part 33, right here, right now. In the last episode, we got ourselves some uh, transmission upgrade. Some transmission upgrade, that's great English, Rog. Uh, yeah, but we got the transmission level S, which allowed us to get the powertrain upgrade. And as you can see, I've set the gear ratios very nicely. Uh, you, I did promise 260. But I only have 252. Uh, give it some time, give it some horsepower, and that will say 260 soon enough. But yeah, I'm going to dive into the rival list first because we have everyone beat at night time, everyone beat at midnight, but not much done at daybreak. So that's our next goal. I'm going to take out Juicy Heaven first at Tatsumi PA. That's just a nice uh, mini goal for today. Uh, all these side guys have been defeated. So straight to the tuning shop, which is not where I wanted to go. They break, Tatsumi PA. Where's that? It's here. But yeah, we should be seeing much higher speeds now. Much, much higher speeds. I, I fear what will happen to the Phantom 9 now. Anyway, some information. Third of the all female Juicy Heaven Street Racing Team. Yes, I have. Uh, I'm sure these people are saying very interesting things, but unfortunately, none of it's relevant to uh, my interests right now. Alright. PA battle. We have one person, of course, being Juicy Heaven, and it's more people. There's Skull Bullet, looking very sorry for himself. All right, races are exciting. Be grateful for the chance to race me. Oh, okay. I full of yourself much. Shall uh, you should be grateful that I'm even racing you. I have much better things to do, like stuff. I just sit down. Just sit down. You, you you lack the power to take me on now. So acceleration is a bit lower than before. But that's just giving them a chance, you see, before I just unleash all hell on them. 190, 200, still in fifth gear. Now we're in sixth. Four. Slow down. It's just, it's just no mercy now. Look at this. Let's put some spray on. That's 210, very easily. Can we get some reasonable amount of speed for the ratch ends? No. 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 Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still have a problem with weight and high end horsepower. But we will fix that very soon. Change control. Change control is for people who have no throttle control, like myself. Except I sort of like having wheel spin. But the thing is, in Port Tune Challenge, there's no ever, there's no situation where you need traction control. There's so much grip available anyway. That's a bit weird, but more. Oh. I figured you'd be coming along about now. Um, ma'am, your blouse, it's not buttoned up. Uh, I think you might catch a cold like that. Time attack battle. Not my favourite type of battle. But it does give us some room to uh, really feel out the Supra's new turn of speed. I've not really had a chance to uh, display it so far. Very nice purple 350Z. I do like the purple. But Banter Gaming's uh, colour of choice is purple. If only because anything I'm involved with gets turns purple. It's just my thing, I like purple. Right, yo, 5.5 miles to go. 
So that should take us into the C1 easily. So we can take our time with it. But yeah, I've, I've actually got some proper channel updates for you guys. Uh, we hit 50 subs the other day, which is awesome. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Uh, actually, funny thing, me and Ben's figured, you know what, we should record 50 sub celebration while we still have 49 subs. And, you know, the moment we hit 50, we can upload the video and it'll be like, yay, 50. But no, just before we recorded the video, uh, someone uh, we got a new subscriber, so we did legitimately have 50, uh, subs and so we're like yeah we actually have this up now so we just make this video made the video it's on the channel you can view it and while editing the video we gained the 51st sub and while uploading the video we got a 50 second sub so yeah um <laughs> I I'm loving this sub gain that we're getting it's absolutely awesome we, we love all you guys for subbing. But give us a chance to actually like, upload our videos before... It's like, by the time it would have uploaded, we might have even had like, I don't know, like 50 something more subs. But no. It's, it's all good though, it's all good. Let's see how far Super will go. Alright, 210, 225, ooh. Breaking from 225 is quite, <laughs> quite dangerous. But yeah, here's the next 50, next 50 subs. Where we'll make our 100 sub video and then hopefully... No, we have to make our. Uh, we're sort of debating: should we go over 250 or straight just 100 to 500? Because you know, I feel as if you know we're going to be getting more subs over the days. So maybe it's not a good idea to sort of rush through the subscriber videos, just sort of space them out a little bit more. But, but I, I don't know what I'm even saying. I've never had a YouTube channel with so many subs before, so you know. We'll do what we think is uh think is good at the time, and hopefully it'll be the good best idea. Anyway, let's uh, let me adjust this for a second. Okay, let's get some actual raising done. Triple axle of whatever team that was. That I, is that aquarium? Aqua probably is aquarium. Also, speaking of our 50 sub video, uh, Benson mentioned that we were doing an Unreal Tournament campaign playthrough. Uh, hopefully with Mike. <laughs> and the thing is, we tried to record some uh, before then, and the campaign was just so nonsensical to us. It was like, uh, I can't get into this. It, they're, they're trying to justify having team death matches as wars, and you don't die, you just respawn, and that's actually a thing. And, yeah, <laughs> it was all quite weird. I I'm sure Unreal Tournament has a great lore behind it, but... The, the campaign of 3 is just... It it's a bit weird. I'd say it's a bit weird. But we'll try to do our research beforehand so we can actually sort of get into it a bit better. This will be a, a cringe-worthy video. <laughs> Any whistles? Bubbly King of Aquarium. Quite a weird name. So this is this is it really. This is our the final stages before we defeat the rest of the Phantom Nine. I am heading in one direction though. If I want to. Uh, See my compadres in the PA. My compadres being the Phantom Nine, you know, we're all, we're all best buds really in the end. 
But yeah, um, the two PAs that you find Phantom Line at are on the other direction of the C1, not the direction I'm going now. So yeah, we won't be seeing them tonight, I think. Alright, who's this next guy? Who are you? That's an RX-7. Rotary Blues of Freedom Light. He seems like a cool guy. <laughs> Sorry. This isn't really a, a fair race, is it? Weave between the cars, who's that? I think that was a skyline of some kind. I was going so fast, I didn't even notice what it was. You know, I might as well just go back to garage after this, because, you know, I might as well just like speed up the process. Of racing the Phantom Nine, because you don't need to race all of the uh, Daybreak guys to actually get the Phantom Nine to come out. You just need to do like a majority, and I think we've done enough. So I'll just quickly uh, see. She's having a very ball. Nitrous S. Oh yeah, yeah. We we, we come back at a good time here. Nitro system level S. Two pounds heavier, but much more power, more duration. It's absolutely great. Alright, so the Phantom 9 can be found at the Shibara PA and the one just after it, the Shiodome PA. So we've got the Shiodome. So I felt taking on the. Uh, Crimson Kid, Iron Old Man, and I think it's Golden Wisdom. Let's see if they're here at least. Platinum Prince, we've got to say about yourself. This is watch out for someone with a Kurosaki 3, if anything, like subgroup. That, yeah, that's the guys we just mentioned. Jetpack Trader, what are you doing? Nothing. Big Mama, not of a uh, Metal Gear Solid infamacy. Heretic Canopus. This is the uh, the man who dressed up as a woman for no reason. Just beat you. Uh, all right. PA battle. Oh, here we go. Yep, Phantom Nine. In fact, we have we have QT hit who won't race me because I've got a spoiler on the car. Um, Blood Tears. Didn't I race these guys before? Hmm. We've got one guy named after a Slipknot song, and the other is just a cross, so we'll race the cross guy first. Race these two jokers, uh, and then Phantom Nine. Looks like we will be facing Phantom Nine tonight. Who would have thunk it? Super has the Supra, and Supra wins. Obviously. Right, I have no idea which way he wants to go though, but I'm guessing C1. Guessing. Please don't turn. No, nope, it's all good. All good. I'm sure it's like an obvious pattern, like if they come from that PA they won't turn, but I'm still very, very um skeptical. Especially off that race where the two teammates went opposite directions. So no matter what it would have been a tie. Whoever I followed. Which is annoying, I think. I think it's like if two people go one way and one goes the other way, that guy gets DQ'd and then the other two just carry on racing. I think that's how it should have been. But you can't have it all your way, can you? Unless you're a hacker. In which case, you can have whatever you want. Especially in the case of SimCity. You can have offline play, you can have infinite customization as far as. Uh, 
the actual area. I really wanted some C, but the online the whole DRM thing turned me off. And now that, you know, obviously there is a way to play offline. Uh, it's like, I wonder what EA is going to do. If they'll, you know, go back on their word and say, okay, you can play offline. If they do that, then I'll take advantage of the uh, cheap prices at the moment and just buy it. Anyway, Slipknot guy here. Uh, time attack. See, we're going on the Shinkanjo now. Despite being from that PA. Which is why I'm always skeptical. And we'll beat this guy pretty easily, I think. He's not that good. It's a shame, because, you know, it's, it's a team full of Supras, but they're not, you know, that good. Isn't the drivers, not the cars. The cars were awesome. <laughs> it's just the drivers of pants. Three point something mile, three point two mile race. So, what we can do is we can race Phantom Nine this episode, and the next episode race the other three Phantom Nine members, and then after that we will race. Actually, should I race Snake Eyes right after, or should I? clear out Daybreak first, because it's going to make things easier later if I clear out Daybreak first. No, I'll clear out Daybreak first. Because that way, uh, it won't take long anyway. And we can sort of enjoy the benefits of having beaten everyone first, you know, the extra parts and stuff. Alright, next turn, I'm going to unleash the spray. We're going to see how much speed we can actually get out of this thing. Sixth gear, gently turn in. Ah, oh, nope, this isn't good. Alright, whatever. This is as good as we can get. See, new nitrous does help a lot though. Already 200, two, nearly 210. Nearly 210. I need a really good stretch of row to just go. Unleash the power. Alright, let's see here. Do we have someone else to race, or is that it? That's it, so here we go, chain battle, Phantom 9. Hey, I think our sucker is back again. Say, you're supposed to take down Skull Bullet down. I think we'll just show you what our group can do. Yeah, this would be a good opportunity to show Snake Eyes that we're capable of what we're capable of by like, taking you down. <sighs> Big words coming from a bunch of guys who aren't that good at customizing cars. Well, let's become a fashion expert for a second here. What's up with this color scheme? Red, black, and gold do generally go together. But not in the way you've arranged it. And where your number plates attach to the side of the bumper. That, that's not legal, is it? Well, neither is racing on the streets, but. Yeah. Oh, come on, Phantom 9. Come on. Give me a challenge. Give me a challenge. No, you not give me a challenge. You wimpy sods. <laughs> and now he's stuck behind traffic. Good game. Well played. What I really want to do, I'll take on Iron Old Man on the uh, Shibuya Strait. Because uh, even though I do rip on Crimson Kid and Golden Wisdom, Iron Old Man is actually fast. He has one hell of a car. So I do want to sort of take him on where he would be exceptionally strong. I'm like that. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's easy enough winning on a C1, but let's see what you can do when you're on a big long straight. Alright, we're gonna beat him soon. Beaten? Let's see here. 
three million. Jeez, nice. All right, now for golden wisdom. The Z32 driver. Again, I'm not a fan of his uh, styling choices. I don't really like the front bumper on the car. I don't like the wing he's used. <laughs> I'm just being a jerk for the sake of being a jerk. Nah, his car looks alright. He's alright. It is slow though. Bit of lick of flame for my exhaust. Yeah, he's done. But I don't wanna. Mm, do I want to destroy him or just bait him? Sort of lead him along for a bit and then waste him. Let's slow now because I, want, I do want to hit Iron Old Man on the Shibuya Strait. And I can't do that if I end up racing him at the junction because it always steers towards C1. So come on, come back here. Don't fall behind just yet. I like Xbox triggers, they uh, you can see very easy to just hold your speed. Alright, I think that's enough sandbagging. Let's go. Yeah. We are gonna have a fight. Yeah, Golden Wisdom has no chance when the super hits 200 miles an hour. No chance. Right. Right. This is going to be good. Iron Old Man, everyone. Iron Old Man. That is indeed a Super GT inspired body kit. Not quite as awesome as a Speed King's old car. But still pretty impressive. Bring it. Show me your moves. There we go, see? Yeah, he's quick. Now I'm not going to use spray because I want this to be a challenge. I'll only use spray after I've overtaken him just to see what Super's max speed is. Mm, he's going pretty damn quickly. I'm impressed. However, you do not have the speed of the Supra. Watch as I just reel you in like a fish. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't fun. You're going to struggle here, I know it. So, round the inside. Yes! Eat it, eat it. Oh, this is great, this is intense. Right, once we hit the sixth gear, I'm gonna unleash the Fury, unleash the 2JZ, twin turbo, with some gear gas. Sixth gear, go. Show me what you got. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. 230, 240, 245, 245, and it's on the red, red limiter. Ah, oh, that was good. Iron Old Man is absolutely hammered. So there you go, Snake Eyes. A glimpse of what's gonna come. And win by miles. So it takes its time, but the Supra, Supra's got some punch now. Remember, you only used to do 220 before, and we're now doing 245. Sort of just that's, that's what a gearbox will do. Oh man, that's what I get for not paying attention. Damn, that's what I get for not paying attention. To think that we, the three Kurosaki brothers, would lose. I can see what Amai is so fond of you. Fond? Um... 
awkward. You're king speed, aren't you? N no, I'm not. W what are you talking about? I'm, I'm not king speed. Oh, oh, okay. He's talking about him. You do know that I'm out of street racing game, right? That's not true, King Speed. Never quit tracing. <laughs> okay, that's not his voice. That's not his voice. I'm sorry. Silence in brackets to show how cold I am. Cat thirty mil. That is nice. Nice. What have we won for our efforts? Engine level seven. LSD. Not fun drugs, thank you. Body tune level 5, I think we're skipping that. Crimson Kid, yeah, all the stickers. Alright, I'll see this engine tune. Oh, we still got level 8 and S to go, but. Oh, that is nice. Replaced in turbo with a big turbine. Wait, we're, we're selling out a single turbo before? Really? All with large middle turbines. And then. Oh, okay, so we had twin turbos, then we went single turbo. See, I should have read it before. Now I seem like an absolute goof. We have, we have twins now, we have twins now. That's all it matters. 715 horsepower. Uh, we could push it a little bit more, but I'm sort of waiting for it at level S. Uh, same with the exhaust, waiting for level S. I don't think 7 horsepower is really worth get in the middle one for a rather level S. But yeah, that's the new and improved Supra. Bitch smacking the Phantom 9. Max speed 246. Yeah. Very nice, very happy with that. On our rival list, still to go. Blood Tears, eight of those guys left. Uh, Freedom Light, six of them left. Aquarium, six of those left. Thank you the rest of the Shinkanjo, so that's good. Blood Tears. Oh, the leader's in the Shield MPA again, though, but you have to beat all the C1 compared race. Just that about side. 71%? That's uh, pretty damn awesome. Look at that Supra. Arguably the best looking car in the game. I I am quite fond of the uh the looks of the one eighty and the crown, but I think the Supra really really beats them in that department. As well as speed and everything else. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that beating the Phantom Nine session. I didn't expect them to show up, to be honest. I expected a little bit more before I showed up, but no, that's a good thing. We're moving along. The Phantom Nine will be beaten. <coughs> Excuse me. Beaten in uh, not too long. So yeah, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for all you guys' support, all your likes and comments. It, you know, it means the world to me and and Benson. Benson more so. He um, I, I can't debate with him. I can't argue with that. You know, he he, he practically has an orgasm every time we get a new sub and you'll hate me for saying this but meh 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 so yeah I will see you guys on part 34 where we take on three more of the Phantom 9 including one guy who is so jealous of me in game obviously that uh, he he just wants to beat me up yeah it's true I'll see you next time.